My name is uh, Andres Vasilios, and uh, today we heard a lot about uh, different applications of machine translation, and actually machine translation has been, uh, nowadays is easily accessible uh, by everybody thanks to the easy to use and free uh, machine translation services provided by global companies and also by few smaller vendors. And today, I, I want to talk about taking next step, about bringing a capability to users to build their own customized, user-tailored machine translation engines, uh, and to provide those uh, possibilities for average users without uh, specific skills. Uh, and the motivation behind uh, the Let's NT project, what I'm actually going to present, uh, is coming from three challenges, we call it. Uh, first is data challenge. Uh, you know, this breakthrough in uh, machine translation uh, was uh, largely thanks to effective use of a uh, huge amount of uh, parallel translation data available on the web. And with statistical machine translation methods, uh, help it to develop uh, uh, MT relatively fast and easy. But uh, the quality of translation largely depends on the size of training data. And uh, also, we uh, heard today about success in building uh, uh, reasonably good MT for practical use in critical situation for. Um, Haiti and Creole, um, using very small amount of data still to get uh, a good quality MT, you need a lot of lot of data. And uh, that data that is currently available on the uh, web and in a few uh, parallel data corpus uh, 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 what, uh, what is um, published on, on the web is just a fraction of all translated texts available. You, if you look around, there are a, a lot of, lot of uh, parallel data um, residing inside uh, different local systems in cor corporations, companies, public and private institutions, desktops of individual translators. And uh, it would be good to somehow get to use that data. Uh, the next challenge is customization challenge, uh, because current NT systems are uh, of general nature, and they uh, often perform poorly for uh, specific domains or specific use tasks and applications. And uh, also, uh, some companies uh, provide system adaptation services uh, based on user-provided data. Uh, such services are uh, uh, by way too expensive for, for small players and, and, and smaller companies and institutions. And in particular, localization industry, as you will see <laughs> today evening and tomorrow, uh, there are man many and many uh, smaller, uh, medium size uh, companies that uh, would be happy to benefit from application of uh, advances in machine translation in the, uh, for their practical work. And the third challenge is, uh, uh, let's call it platform challenge. We have a few great open source platforms like uh, for example, Moses platform uh, has been widely used and Giza++. Plus Plus. Uh, they are relatively easy to use to build machine translation engines for those who know uh, how to use it. Still, you need some expertise and knowledge and competence to use those tools. And these tools are far too complicated for average guys in uh, smaller uh, localization companies, for example. And so uh, the vision of uh, our project, Let's MT, is to uh, provide uh, a platform uh, that would help to fully exploit that potential of uh, uh, state-of-the-art SMT technologies uh, by putting those uh, on the cloud as a web service and uh, by encouraging users to share their data uh, and to participate in development of MT uh, and enable them to build their customized uh, MT engines. 
and so this will be a platform for gathering pub public and user provided uh, machine translation training data, parallel data, uh, uh, what uh, uh, will have features to generate multiple uh, empty systems and run them. And uh, in such a way, we hope that uh, we will collect uh, uh, sufficiently large amount of uh, data to increase quality of MT, especially for uh, smaller languages, like my native Latvian language, uh, and for uh, specific uh, domains. And so, uh, this vision is to create sustainable, user-driven machine translation factory on the cloud for data sharing services, for empty generation services, and customization uh, of empty engines, and of course running them for the benefit of uh, many different applications. And we, we are happy that this uh, project idea and project proposal uh, has uh, recently got support from uh, EU ICT PSP uh, program. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's uh, part of uh, that multilingual web and M MT uh, translation uh, objective. And uh, so project just started a few months ago and will uh, run uh, till uh, year 2012. And uh, my, our company, Tilde, is coordinator of this project, but uh, uh, we have a very strong consortium of partners having uh, skills in uh, those uh, uh, areas that are cr crucial for getting good results, like we have uh, strong research partners University of Edinburgh, authors of um, Moses, uh, partners in this project, uh, University of Zagreb, uh, uh, do a lot of work for uh, smaller languages in um, uh, Balkan countries. Uh, Copenhagen University uh, have expertise in uh, user needs uh, evaluation, and uh, Uppsala University. Uh, Jörg Tiedemann actually recently moved to Uppsala. He, uh, his team has a great expertise in processing different kind of data because real data that resides in, in, in on user desktops is not just uh, uh, nice and clean TMX files, but many different variety of uh, Word documents, uh, Open Office documents, Excel files, PDFs, and uh, other kind of documents uh, from which uh, we want to be able uh, to extract those uh, parallel sentences and feed them to uh, empty trainers. And also we have uh, as a partner, uh, Moravia company, uh, uh, experts in localization services and Tilde also is, uh, uh, is uh, the leading uh, localization company in Baltic countries, so we have also this uh, in-house expertise. So localization companies' uh, expertise is strongly uh, uh, presented in consortium. And SEMLAB company, an interesting application uh, for uh, inform machine translation in information retrieval and semantic search system that we provide for business and financial news to be able to translate uh, text in that domain. And uh, we, we are open to involve other partners uh, like uh, 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 TOS Data Association is interested to uh, take part in these activities. Uh, SDI Media uh, is a company doing uh, subtitling services and will uh, use those methods um, to, to feed uh, their subtitling text for machine translation and to benefit from, from that, and as well as um, national patent offices. So this platform will have a uh, few main features, uh, so f uh, repository of uh of uh, content storage uh, uh, directory of uh, different resources that we have uh, in, on this platform, as well as uh, users will be able to provide links to other resources that we have not yet crawled. Uh, of course, automated training features and uh, customization features so uh, users will be able to pick up collections of data uh, and uh, to, to build from that selected data uh, the empty engines by very easy to use interface. 
and also uh, evaluation features um, yeah but are represented in uh, with software architecture and uh, uh, on the so we should be able to deal with those different kind of documents to extract those uh, parallel segments from them to train engines to store those agents to be uh, engines to be able to dynamically load and to, to deal with uh, a challenging task of uh, balancing uh, heavy load if uh, there will be a lot of users for, for different engines and also different uh, user interfaces or, or ways uh, how, how, how these uh, engines can be used. Uh, like uh, translation well, widgets, uh, helping users to translate their web pages uh, and other content or browser plugins and add-ons to translate web content or API for integration in uh, computer-aided uh, translation tools. And we mostly we target different uh, user groups of, uh, of course, uh, translation industry, uh, freelance translators, a uh, natural target group, uh, but also software developers who can use this cl uh, cloud-based service uh, to integrate it in different kinds of applications, uh, web developers, uh, public institutions, to, especially in uh, countries where uh, providing multilingual public information is an uh, essential task, as well as research. Uh, community like uh, we uh, have talked with universities who would be happy to integrate that uh, empty engine generation uh, tasks as part of uh, curriculum in uh, uh, translation studies. Uh, and uh, uh, there are a few specific application scenarios uh, what will be specifically elaborated uh, and uh, uh, such as uh, application of uh, this uh, platform in for localization and translation industry <laughs> taking into account interests of those localization partners like Moravia and Tilde in this project uh, application of translation for business and financial news uh, and uh, also showcase for patent translation what is a huge uh, task faced by Europe uh, in implementing common European uh, patent. Um, so, and uh, 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 this is very interesting uh, work ahead of us, putting Moses on the cloud and encouraging users to use those features uh, and make them uh, easy, easy to use. And we've got a lot of content and uh, we are very open to uh, involve uh, other partners who are interested in, in these developments. <laughs> Thanks, Andres. Thank you. Time for a very, very quick question. Very quick question and very quick answer. Yes. That was very nice final note. <laughs> I was wondering how you see the relation between the share and the relation of the big plans to ensure that what is being built in that share and in that sort of legal compatible with the future. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for this question, and uh, I think those activities, like uh, activities by Taos Data Association, and by the way, Tilda and Moravia, founding members of Taos, like MetaShare, uh, and Let's NT project shows this growing need of uh, involving users uh, and uh, gathering um, uh, user-provided data and uh, involving them in different kind of collaborative activities to advance uh, machine translation. And um, um, I very much believe in cooperation and collaboration, and uh, we will be happy to uh, collaborate with MetaShare. Um, uh, if there will be interest from, um, from uh, both sides, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's thank again Andres and all speakers. Thank you.